welcome to another episode of BMW time today, it's the R100. What I've got today is the exhaust, here it is, bit of a messy style and also one silencers. Just one, there is a pair, but what I'm going to do today is, I mean that one, simply enough, slots and bolts onto the back of one of these. This is a nice thing about this, is that this is minimal work. The old ones slot off, the new ones go on from Diamond City Cycles, and that keeps costs low. Of course, you could do a gorgeous, custom-made Pica exhaust pipe and everything like that. You could buy a brand new set of exhaust header pipes, which obviously aren't discolored and everything like that. These, and I'll say they've probably seen better days, they do have quite nice colouring as well. I like it because it's bronze and everything like that. It's got that, obviously, what happens naturally when exhausts get hot, but, it's not neat enough for what we want. What I'm going to do today is simply enough exhaust wrap just this top section here. Just to neat it up a little bit. You've got this top section, the crossbar here, just exhaust wrap it all. And I'm also going to leave a little ends here, so there's going to be a gap at the end just for the exhaust, the actual silence to fit on the back. And a little gap at the front just where I can actually spin this in. You're going to see a little bit of an edging where the wrap's going to stop and the exhaust pipe's going to carry on. but. That's not going to bother me too much. The whole thing is going to look nice and neat, and especially off the black of the engine and the black of the frame, it's going to stand out gorgeous. So we've got a nice titanium, like a gold, goldish kind of titanium wrap to put on this. Stunning. So that is what I'm going to do today. And no, before I start off, no, I'm not going to soak this and all sorts. This is a titanium wrap. It's not a fiberglass wrap. It's an actual titanium one. So you don't need anything like that on this. You'll notice that the weaves are completely different on this. And it was also what I used on the CX500 on the Dime City Cycles video ages ago. So that is the difference of this. No need to wet it in all sorts because it won't stretch or anything like that. That is it. Let's do the job.
and here's the final piece it is now it is now screwed onto here i might just clean up these a little bit actually i might even paint them black i don't know yet possibly should have done that before but what happens is with a tool that you put it back on and tighten it with if you hadn't powder coated those they're gonna they're gonna scuff and whatnot do you know what i might just clean them actually clean each side of them but that is it perfect it makes a world of difference and as well this kind of gold finish off this titanium here just bounces straight off the black of this engine it's stunning lovely and there we have it the exhaust is now on the bmw it is over there next steps for me i guess there's two more things i could do i can put the tires on the wheels so that's having some a1 trail riders just like the ducati down there and also i need to fabricate a seat for it so we need the seat pan and also because this is going to have a pillion passenger because it's off-road some foam on it and then we'll send that out to the fabricators that is it if you like what you see subscribe follow me on instagram also visit polymerindustries.com if you want to buy any merchandise i'm not wearing any today i just had to check then but if you do head over to the link and i will see you next week's video